I'm in serious need of a haircut, like I've literally got a mullet going on at the moment. So this is gonna be quite a quick video. Basically, I wanted to test something out and you know, when you're a YouTuber, heaven forbids that you actually test something out or do something creative without recording it and sharing it with the world. If you follow my channel already, you'll be aware that I picked up this Cinebloom diffusion filter by the company Moment uh, last year. I've done a review for it already, which I'll link above if you're interested. So essentially what these filters do, diffusion filters, are they like lift the shadows, uh, bloom the highlights, they soften an image and like reduce the contrast a little bit. So especially when you're shooting digital, it just kind of, well, I'll show you. This is without a filter. This is with the filter. Without with so it just makes it overall a lot softer and it's really good for you yeah, when you're shooting digital and it can be quite sharp and clinical and stuff like that it can just soften the image and give it a more sort of like retro filmy look i guess but i was kind of interested um i picked up this mamiya rb67 recently which i'm going to be using for the majority of my film portraits going forwards i kind of thought to myself i wonder what it would be like putting a diffusion filter on a film camera and seeing kind of the effect that it would give to your film portraits and stuff like that However, obviously these diffusion filters, they aren't cheap. Now I've seen or heard about these sort of like DIY solutions, which essentially just involves a normal filter. So it's just a UV filter that I got for five pounds and hairspray. So, you know, for the sake of five pounds, can I make my own diffusion filter that will work just as well as one that will cost, you know, like a hundred pounds. So yeah, so I thought basically I'll try it out, spray this with some hairspray, go out, shoot some portraits just with my family. It's a nice sunny day today, so that's, you know, these diffusion filters work really well when there's a lot of available light and stuff like that. I've watched a few YouTube videos on how to make this, and from what I've seen, you want to spray the uh, backside that's closest to the lens, not the front side of the filter, and rather than just spraying it dead on, you kind of have to spray into the air and try and catch the falling bits of hairspray. So we'll give it a go now. I'll go out, I'll test it. I'll take some pictures with the filter on, with the filter off, just to kind of compare them and see if it actually does anything at all. From what I've seen, you spray up and then catch it all. Was that doing anything? Catch, spray, catch, spray, catch, spray. Okay, so there's definitely now hairspray on this filter. The moment one I've got is 20%, so it's quite a strong effect. But uh, I'll see if this, has, oh, we can test on the video actually. So this is without a filter. This is with the moment 20% one. Without, with, and then we'll see what this looks like. So this is without a filter. This is with the hairspray filter. Without, with, without with so obviously i'd imagine this is probably not as strong as the 20 percent one i won't know till i've seen the footage back anyway but this is moment and this is hairspray what do you think does it look good probably looks like pants but uh yeah i'll, I'll watch the footage back and if it makes any difference whatsoever then i'll go out and shoot some portraits with and without and show you the samples but yeah let's screw it onto here I'll wait till it dries actually, and uh, go out and take some portraits. Now obviously it's been a few days since then because I had to wait to get the scans back from the lab um, but I was definitely intrigued to see just how much of a difference this DIY diffusion filter made to the photos. It essentially is acting exactly like a diffusion filter does, you know, when you compare the images from without to with you can see just exactly what it's doing. It's lifting the shadows, lowering the contrast and just overall softening the image. So I'm definitely going to try it out a little bit more going forwards. 
I've got a shoot coming up with a model friend of mine. We're gonna be shooting some portraits on the RB with some HP5. So I'm gonna do some more sort of sample with and without photos. And then I'm also planning to get out and shoot some more long exposures at night. I've done a couple of videos for that in the past. More recently, I shot um, some nighttime photos with some Cinesteel 800T on the Mamiya 7, and I used this uh, Cinebloom diffusion filter for that, and it had some interesting effects. So yeah, I'm keen to see sort of if I go out and shoot some more long exposures at night, even maybe some Portra 400 or something like that, and I'll do some with and without samples with this as well, just to see what kind of effect it does have. What I was actually pleasantly surprised to see was just how much of an effect it had on the video footage. You know, this is without a filter, this is with the DIY diffusion filter, without, with. So, you know, if you're someone who's maybe interested in picking up a diffusion filter for your video work or something like that, but you're not sure if it's for you and you don't really want to invest sort of 100 to 150 pounds on the filter, I would definitely recommend picking up a cheap UV filter for, you know, five to 10 pounds off eBay or Amazon, trying the whole hairspray trick and just seeing if you actually like that effect, because if you do, then, you know, maybe it is for you. Or to be honest with you, from, you know, <laughs> the effect that I'm getting off of this, just keep the DIY diffusion filter because it's very similar to what you'd get from an actual one anyway. Um, but yeah, that's it. Like I say, just a quick video just because I was doing the test anyway and I thought I'd share it with you guys. Um, but yeah, that's it for now. Like I say, next video I'm going to be shooting some portraits on HP5 and I'll do some more with and without samples with this as well. Um, so yeah, hopefully see you in the next video. Peace.